morning, everyone. We are the group two. I am Carmen Zindoro and your partner. From the Pundagi Science Teacher. On the hand news today is all about the reproductive system. According to the present clinic, the reproductive system is a collection of internal and external organs in both males and females that work together for a purpose procreating due to its vital role. Let us know how the reproductive system works. To begin with our topic, let us call Jaden to discuss the internal part of the male reproductive system. Hi, I'm Jaden Brian Curtis Reporting, and I'll present Uretra, Mastic Ranks, and Penis. Uretra, a duck run through the length of the penis and opens to the outside. Vast difference, a short muscular duck. Penis. The human penis has a reproductive function and urinary function. It is composed of spongy erectile. Hi, I'm Jenny Cortes reporting. Back to you, Carwin. Thank you, Jaden. Now let's call John to discuss some of the external parts of the male reproductive system. John? Scrotum. External sacred structure with temperature slightly lower than of the rest. Testes are a pair of sperm producing organs that maintain the health of male reproductive system. Epididymis, a highly convoluted duct behind the testes along which sperm passes to the vas deferens. I'm John reporting. Back to you, Erwin. Thank you, John. To continue the external part of the male reproductive system, let us now hear our third reporter, Precious. Hello, my name is Prince Jubal Chavez and I am going to be reporting the prostate gland and the seminal vesicle. The prostate. The prostate is a walnut-sized gland located between the bladder and the penis. The prostate is just in front of the rectum. Seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle, also known as the vescular or seminal glands, are a pair of glands found in the male candles, which function the constituent ingredients of semen. I am Prince Jubal Chavez reporting back to you, Carmen. Thank you, Precious. These are the parts of the male reproductive system. Let's go on the female reproductive system. We have five major parts of the female reproductive system. Those are the fallopian tube, the cervix, the uterus, the ovaries, and the vagina. To know more about the functions of the female reproductive system, let us call Melissa. Hello everyone, I'm Princess Melissa Matizan. Today, I'm reporting fallopian tube and cervix. Fallopian tube. Eggs pass from the ovaries to the fallopian tubes to the uterus. In the female reproductive tract, there is one ovary and one fallopian tube on each side of the uterus. Cervix. It connects the vagina with the main body of the uterus, acting as a gateway between them, anatomically and histologically. The cervix is distinct from the uterus, and hence you consider it as a separate anatomical structure. I'm Melissa reporting. Back to you, Kerwin. Thank you, Melissa. And now, I'm presenting our last reporter, Rihanna. Go on, Rihanna. Everyone, my name is Rihanna Mitch and of course, I'm reporting uterus and ovaries. Uterus. The ovaries produce the eggs that travel through the fallopian tubes. Once the egg has left the ovary, it can be fertilized and implants itself in the lining of the uterus. Ovary. When released, this travels down the fallopian tube in the uterus where it may become fertilized by its sperm. There's an ovary from Latin ovarium egg nuts found on each side of the body. I'm Rihanna, reporting back to you, Thank you, Rihanna. And for the last part of the female reproductive system, I'm discussing the vagina. The vagina connects the uterus to the outside world. The vulva and the labia from the entrance and the cervix, the uterus protrudes into the vagina, forming the interior end. And that's all for today. I hope you learned from our topic. Again, this is Kerwin Dinderon reporting. To watch our report again, you can go on the social media platforms, Facebook and YouTube at Kerwin Dinderon. Thank you for your attention. Stay safe and goodbye.